Hello, and welcome to this video of Math with Miss B, where we're continuing to looking at two-step equations. So in the previous video, we solved just general two-step equations. In this video, we will look at solving two-step equations when one side contains the distributive property. Like all of the videos so far, variables will only be found on one side of the equal sign. So let's look at an example. And there's two methods to approach this with. Um, and I, I'm going to show you both in two examples. And then after the second example, I'm going to discuss which one I like better and let you know why. So the first method is to distribute my three to everything inside of the parentheses. So three times x is three x. Three times negative four is negative 12 equals 18. Now we're ready to drop in our line and follow our steps of solving a two-step problem. We undo the minus 12 first, so we're going to add 12. A negative 12 and a positive 12 cancel, leaving us with 3x. 18 plus 12 is 30. We're going to undo multiplication with division. So x equals 10. Now, the second method has us looking at the distributive property and thinking about what we can undo. So distributive property is just sharing a number with everything inside the parentheses with multiplication. Well, we know we can undo multiplication with division. So I'm just going to go ahead and divide by 3 times three divided by three cancels. So we're left with x minus four equals 18 divided by three is six. We're gonna undo our subtraction with addition. Plus four minus four cancels. So we're left with x equals 10. Okay, that's our first example. Let's look at a second example that contains where we're going to do both methods. This one has a fraction in it. So in method one, we're going to distribute the one half to everything inside of the parentheses. So we're gonna multiply all of these by the one half. So one half times X is one half X. One half times minus four is minus two because half of four is two and that equals negative eight. I'm going to start by moving my two to the opposite side. The opposite of subtraction is addition, so I'm adding the two. The negative and the positive of the same number cancel. So one half x equals, different signs tell me to subtract. Eight minus two is six is six. Bring down my negative. Now I need to undo my fraction. And remember, we undo fractions by multiplying by the reciprocal, which would be 2 over 1. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. My fractions will cancel, leaving me with x equals negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Okay, let's try this again by undoing our distributive property first. So we're going to undo the fraction the same way we did in the first method by multiplying by its reciprocal. So times two over one, times two over one. This side cancels. So we have x minus four equals negative eight times two is negative 16. We could keep our denominators of one but anything over one is just that number. So we're gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna undo my subtraction with addition. These cancel, so X equals 16 plus four. Well, we have a negative, so different signs tell me to subtract. 16 minus four is 12. I have more negative, so my answer is negative 12. Okay. So I personally like the second method better. If you prefer the first method, that's awesome. Go ahead and continue using it. But I'm just going to tell you why I like the second method. So when we use method one, we distribute, we undo our addition and subtraction, 
and then we undo our multiplication or division. That turns this supposed two-step equation into a three-step equation. And my problem with extra steps is there's more chances for you to make a mistake. However, when we undo the distributive property first, we have one step and then we undo our addition or subtraction and that is our second step. So this is still a two-step equation. And like I said, fewer steps are fewer chances for you to make a mistake. The other reason why I like the second method is it's less work and less work means less time spent on one problem. So I'm going to continue with the next two using this second method. Again, if you prefer the first method, work out the first method while I'm using the second method and see if you get the same answer. Um, just because we take different paths doesn't mean we don't arrive at the same answer. Okay, so let's look at our last two examples. So we have three X minus 12 equals 72. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to rewrite the problem in the box, hopefully while you're writing it down so you can work it out with me. I'm going to say that the three is being multiplied whenever we see a number with a parenthesis that's multiplication. We undo multiplication with division. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in my line here just to keep my two sides of the equal sign separate. Divide by three times three cancels. So we're left with x minus 12 equals 72 divided by three. Let's work it out over here. Three goes into 72. Three goes into seven two times. That's a six. Bring down my two. Three goes into 12 four times. 12, nothing left over. So we have 24. I undo subtraction with addition. So negative 12 and a positive 12 cancel to make a zero. So X equals 36. We have one more example of undoing the distributive property in a two-step equation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. This one also has a fraction and it's written in a different order, but that's okay. We're going to solve it the same way. So we undo multiplied fractions by multiplying by the reciprocal. I'm going to drop in my line so I don't get confused. I'm, I always forget it at the beginning and then I realize I'm going to get confused because my equal sign doesn't work as a great divider. So these make a 1 and anything times 1 is itself. So we have 11 plus x equals Let's see what we can simplify over here. I'm going to put my 27 over 1. Well, I know 27 is a multiple of 3. That means I can divide it by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 27 divided by 3 is 9. My denominators are 1, so there's nothing else I can simplify. And because they're 1, I don't need to keep them. So 9 times 4 is 36. Now I need to move my 11. It's a positive. There's nothing in front of it, so I know it's a positive. I undo positives with negatives. And we can think about it as subtraction. So a positive 11 and a negative 11 cancel. So x equals 36 minus 11 is 25. And that is how we solve two-step equations using the distributive property. Thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you in a future video.